Hello besties and welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is Thursday. This vlog has to go up today. Um, I'm trying to be consistent. I don't want to skip. No excuses. Every single Thursday I want to make sure I post because if I don't then if I skip one I'm gonna skip 10. I'm gonna skip 20 and I know myself. I know my personality and that's not the goal. So welcome to a new video. Today's gonna be kind of different. I want to grab a bite and sit in the car with you like a mukbang but not really we can park somewhere sit in the car eat talk have fun right okay i was driving aimlessly in jamera because i just assumed it would be the best place to find food and i just saw 11 green i never had 11 green but i've heard good stuff i've heard not so good stuff and i want to be the judge so let's go have some burger i guess at 11 green sit in the car can i eat in the car am i allowed to eat in the car it's ramadan i know the rules aren't the same as what they used to be but am i allowed so i finally got it um they were so fast i ordered i went to tinkle i came back and he was waiting at the door with my food they had like regular burgers and then small and he said small is the same size, it's just the patty is smaller. So I did that. Oh, and I got chips. Ketchup. Ketchup. Oh, the chips look good. I don't know where to put anything. I don't have like a good setup for this. And then my burger. Where do we start? So this is a burger. It is, it is little, but it's enough. I got, I got girl i don't know what i got i think i'll write the name here because it's on the menu lovely it's all right it tastes very um beefy i don't usually like it when burgers do that but it is still nice alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. i get so um shy and like embarrassed to do things by myself so sitting in the car right now and eating makes me feel so strange like i feel okay right now because no one's looking but if anyone parked next to me right now and sat and did the same thing i'd feel like such a loser i don't know why but camila released her song i love it yesterday i'm so confused i love that she is doing something so different so different to anything she's ever ever done and i'm here for it i think it's gonna suit her so much the song though it's a grower it's definitely a grower i don't think it's like a one-time listen and you're gonna fall in love type i love what she's doing with it again i repeat i'm a big camila girl i love her i just think i need time i need another listen or two and then we're here for it the music video so pretty i think she looks amazing this steering wheel situation is really not it. Should I move you guys like here? Yeah, I'll do that. This is much better. Um, I feel so uncomfortable. There's a person right there and then a car right there with the person in it. And then the police came and they were going to park here, but then they parked up there. So I just feel I feel like I'm doing something illegal, but I don't think I am. I checked and it's not illegal. So, where were we? We're talking about Camila. Yes, I need I need to listen a few more times and then I'll really fall in love. I know myself. I know that everything Camila does, I end up loving. Next topic of conversation is my birthday. I'm turning 30 tomorrow. I remember being younger and thinking that 30 was like old. Like it was so old. Like I thought people who are 30 are like... Like their life is over, you know? But I feel like I'm just getting started. Like since I turned 27, I feel like life completely turned around. And then at 29, things started to like kind of fall into place and make sense. Is that my Saturn returns? We don't know. I wouldn't say I'm excited to turn 30, but I'm also like, I'm not scared like I thought I would be, you know? <gasps> Can we talk about P. Diddy? Can't really talk about P. Diddy. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was in a rabbit hole 
on TikTok the other day until 4.30 in the morning just watching these videos about P. Diddy. Literally, my mom and I were talking about it. We're like, we always thought like, oh, he's such a cool guy because he's literally, you know, so private. Like, he doesn't do anything bad. And girl, we were wrong. It's crazy that someone is so capable of doing so many evil things at once. Like, it blows my mind that this is all P. Diddy. I feel bad for Usher. I feel bad for Bieber. The Bieber one really broke my heart because I remember when Yummy came out and the video came out, we were all talking about it, about like, what is he trying to say? What is he talking about? Everyone knew he was talking about the industry. But I don't think anyone really knew that he, it was so personal to him. And now with the P. Diddy story and the Usher stories and all of that, it's like, what happened? You know, I can imagine that even for Justin, like, all of this news unraveling i think for him obviously it could be so triggering and traumatic because it's like everything is coming back up and you're starting to remember everything again um i hope that nothing bad happened to him i hope that he also wasn't involved with anything bad um it's so terrifying oh my god i watched so many videos and i wonder how this is all gonna ends like is he just gonna run away and they're never gonna like catch him or is it gonna be like an r kelly thing are we getting a documentary i want a documentary is he gonna release those videos is he gonna snitch is he gonna have to snitch what's tom hanks got to do with this what was he doing there on the same topic dan schneider how many times is this gonna be talked about until something happens you know dan schneider everyone knows that name is just nasty it's a nasty name because everyone knows who dan schneider is everyone knows what dan schneider does but no one has stopped him jeanette mccurdy talked about it did anyone listen no her book went number one didn't it and she talks about it in the book of course she doesn't name him legally she can't but she talked about it and if the book went number one why did no one do anything about it clearly enough people have read about it to know who she's talking about and what she's talking about it's just insane like every time a dan schneider story comes out i'm like yeah okay when are we stopping him you know the documentary came out and at the same time p diddy's house gets raided did dan schneider do something to distract people from talking about him and to talk about diddy instead i wouldn't be surprised girl he should have been put away a long time ago i want to know what he has what he's blackmailing people with that they're not able to send him to jail because like there's been receipts nothing's ever happened yesterday while i was on tiktok i've been scrolling oh my god guys i've been scrolling on tiktok like never before i go to sleep i go to my bed at like one ish i'm scrolling till five and i'm watching the dumbest shit and it doesn't even feel like it's been four hours but it has my screen time this month has been disgusting <laughs> my screen time has been so bad i can't stop while i was scrolling yesterday someone tagged like ace family like it was blue and whatever i clicked it i didn't know the ace family had such a massive house that's crazy i didn't like i was never an ace family girl i never really cared about them obviously i know like the tea right now but I literally knew nothing about it. When she announced that they're getting a divorce, I thought they were already divorced. Because I remembered something about that before. Damn! I didn't know they were living in, like, a mansion. I didn't know how big... I knew they were big. I just didn't know how big, you know? I'm a slow eater. I've been eating for so long right now. And even I just noticed. I was like, girl, what's taking you so long? On the topic of Ace Family, David Dobrik. I used to not watch him. I didn't care about the vlog squad or anything like that. But during COVID, I started watching a lot of old David Dobrik and vlog squad videos. And I was obsessed. I was so obsessed. They had me in a chokehold. I watched every single video that was on David Dobrik's channel. David Dobrik and David Dobrik 2. I watched all of them. I was obsessed during COVID. And I was like, kind of living vicariously through those vlogs because we were just in lockdown. And I was like, oh my God. I need to start living my life more and going out more and blah, 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 because I'm such a homebody. I still am, but definitely much less than pre-COVID. I wonder how he's doing, like, not career-wise, because career-wise, we can see. 
but like ooh, but like financially and stuff like how's he doing because he's not posting on youtube he's barely on instagram and it's just all snapchat and honestly it's so cringe like his snapchat content is so cringe I can't watch or listen to his voice when he talks on Snapchat because it's so, like, 2015 YouTube. You know what I mean? How's it going, man? What are you doing? How's life? Uh, what's his name? Oh my god, what's his name? What's his name? Jeff! I wonder if this topic is going to come back up. Like, is, are people going to talk about David Dobrik again and, like, the whole situation with Dom and... The situation with Jeff and stuff like that, or is it done? Are we done with that? Is that era over? There are so many arrows on YouTube. Oh my god, Shane Dawson, that's done. David Dobrik done. Emma Chamberlain, pretty much done. Honestly, like I get so excited when she posts, but I think she's done, done. Like mentally, she's done with YouTube, and as she should be. Whatever, if it works for her, man. Miss her, but if it's working out, oh my god, role models new song about emma crazy it's so crazy how the last music video before this one was filmed by emma and it is about emma but like in a happy way and then this one is about emma but it's the breakup that's so weird and their relationship was doing so well as soon as they went public bye i thought i was gonna sit in the car and like talk about life and turning 30 tomorrow and how it was being in my 20s and all of that but it's just a pop culture conversation which i'm not mad about it's my favorite thing i've been eating this burger for almost 30 minutes now <laughs> it's so cold right now but i don't know why it's taking me so long it wasn't even that big i think i'm talking obviously but i think because i'm trying to look cute while i'm eating you know oh also on the topic of Camila, her talking about the breakup on Call Her Daddy. Like, I wonder if the breakup, the second breakup, was mutual or not. First one, obviously, it was Sean. Second one, though, it's giving Camila. It's giving she wanted to give it a shot, like she said. And then she said that they both agreed that it doesn't, it's not working out. But I think it was Camila. I think she was like, you know what? My heart was broken. You broke it. Let's see how this goes. It didn't go well. And she's like, you know what? I think it's best. We don't do this again. No? I haven't listened to the lyrics properly or read them for I Love It. But I need to because I want to know if there's any tea in there or if it's just like a kinky song. I definitely don't understand what Playboy Cardi is saying. I heard the song. I heard a few things he said. But as full sentences zero i heard nothing so i want to read the lyrics and see if there's any tea over there it's giving no it's giving like just hook up and stuff like that which good for her good for her i literally remember when camila used to do those radio interviews with fifth harmony and she used to be like i haven't had my first kiss yet oh i can't wait to have my first kiss and all of that and now this girl on call her daddy saying shit i love it good for you baby girl <gasps> Zendaya is blonde. Zendaya Coleman is blonde. And, of course, it looks so good on her. Every hairstyle, every hair color has looked amazing on her. She looked so good at the Challenges premiere. Where was that? Sydney? Oh my god, she looked amazing. She never looks bad. She is a flawless human being. And she's one of my favorites. I'm so excited for that movie during wow that guy is on a jog and i'm sitting here eating a burger listen man another time i'm so excited for that movie i'm really looking forward to challengers mark my words zendaya is going to be signed to adidas i feel it it only makes sense in the movie there's all these posters she's wearing everything well blah, blah, blah. so i feel like she is going to be signed to adidas this year or next year it makes sense to be this year though adidas do your thing yummy so that's it for today's vlog thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe leave a comment see you next week for my swifty-esque video bye